starting on our backs today. Oops. And one block this way, one block that way. You can also do it this way, depending on what feels best for your back today. If you only have one block, you're gonna do this lengthwise, and then you're putting the foam roller or anything you have or actually, you know what, you should do the foam roller in the bottom and then the block at the top. So, depending on what equipment you have here. There we go. Make sure you're comfortable. Let the head rest onto the back block. Keep your feet pressed onto the earth. Allow the arms to open up by your sides. Feel a sense of relaxation as you arrive here in your space. Close your eyes. Feeling the vibration of your body. Allow the thoughts to come and go. Notice the feeling in your jaw, and maybe you can relax and then see if you can feel into the back of your mouth and just feeling the constriction as you breathe, noticing the air quality, the air flow. And then as you lay down here, notice and try to really deepen the inhales breathing in from the belly area. And so imagine yourself inflating a balloon inside your belly as you breathe in and then deflating it right back as you exhale. Take some continued, continued, continued few as deep breaths. <laughs> here as you lay down, breathing deeply into the belly area and then the chest, allowing the shoulders to melt to the sides here. Okay, just a few more moments. Keep your feet on the ground here, maybe scoot your feet a little bit down if you need more space on the inhale. Lift the arms up overhead not letting it go past your shoulders. And then exhale, bend your elbows to the sides like goalposts. And then next breath, inhale, palms down to face down to the ground, still at elbow height. There we go. And then inhale all the way back up again. Exhale, elbows to the sides, goalpost. Inhale, palms face down. Exhale, lengthen forward. And then inhale, repeat, inhale up, exhale, goal post, palms face down, perhaps stretch forward here, inhale, exhale, open, lift the arms up and back, and then bring them to the sides, palms face down, and then lengthen forward, good, inhale up, exhale, sides, Palms face down, then lengthen. All right, good. This time, arms out to a T. Keeping it only at your shoulder height, not past that, please. And then bring your hands together at your chest, or above your chest, excuse me. Inhale, open up to a T. And then exhale, palms together above your chest. Okay, just a few more here, really stretching a little bit through the chest, a little bit through the side body. One last one, inhale, and then feet together, or rather hands together. This time extend the legs long and then interlace your hands. Make sure you're secure, you're not rolling, and then stretch out the arms up and back. This time you can let your elbows go further back if you'd like into this kind of big assisted back bend here. Good, Alrighty. slowly exhale out your elbows to the mat. 
lift yourself up, and then find your tabletop here. So release your blocks to the front of your mat. When you can, begin your cat and cow. Inhale, lift the tailbone, lift the gaze. Exhale, round and curl. Keep moving as you are. Express yourself through the movement of your spine. Finding some big movements or small, depending on what feels good. Getting into the shoulders, nice muscle up. Getting into your neck, your hips, your wrists. Noticing that deep stretch in the core every time you do cow pose. And then as you breathe here, if you can focus on trying to expand that belly so you can take your deepest breaths of the day, that will really help. All right, good. From here, walk the hands forward, find puppy pose. You can keep your forehead off the ground, simply lower through the nose any amount. Doesn't have to touch the floor here. Allow this to be a nice stretch through the underarms. Good, good. Already widen the palms a bit. Inhale, lift yourself up to your table. And then exhale, modify chaturanga, bend your elbows to the sides. Good, inhale, press up. And then exhale to your, mo to your modified puppy pose, modified child's pose. Inhale up. Make sure your hands are wide enough so your chest goes down. Chaturanga. Good, inhale up. And then exhale, puppy. A little gentle movement here, inhale forward, exhale, bend the elbows, chaturanga, good, inhale up, and then one more time, exhale, puppy or child, and then inhale up, last one, exhale, chaturanga, nice, good, press up, and then tabletop, child's pose or puppy pose, whichever felt better, and then inhale, right table, exhale, widen your knees, Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, thread the needle. Good, continue to warm up through your back. That's it, tuck your left toes and maybe your left fingers reach forward. Gaze under your left underarm, your left arm, yeah. Then if you want, you can lift your left leg up, balancing and breathing, very nice. Stay connected. Exhale, left knee comes down, left hand comes close, inhale, right arm high. Take it to your modified side plank, open up, maybe bend your right elbow, so big range of motion into your back. Exhale, release. Good, other side, inhale, left arm. Exhale, thread the needle. And allow your hips to be above your knees here. And see if you'd like to stretch your right fingers forward and your right toes back. All the while trying to find this spinal twist. And if you wish, right leg extends up and back. Good, feeling your core strength. Observing your balance right away. And then right knee comes down, right hand comes close to your face. Inhale, the left arm high. On your exhale, open up to your modified side plank, left foot steps back, maybe back bend, bend the left elbow. Awesome, slowly release that. Good, all right, walk the hands forward. Inhale for cow pose, just one. Exhale, round your back for cat. And then from here, tuck your left toes back behind you. Shift forward and back, feeling out your calves. And if you want more depth, you can go down to the elbows. So it's gonna be a little, little bit deeper. Either way, just do what feels nice. Yeah, and if it, if it feels good to stay with your heel, trying to reach the back, you can stay there or simply move forward and back. Good, all right, inhale, lift up onto the palms. Lift the left leg up and back to the hip height. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. 
Just to work on your hips, inhale, exhale, left knee, left tricep. Good. Last one, exhale. Good, inhale, left leg back, and then circle out your left knee a few times. One way, go the other. Good. Nice. All right, release the left knee. Then touch the right foot, shift forward and back. If it's been a while, you'll feel the tightness through the back of the right knee. Feel it through the calf. And then if you can down to your elbows, that will deepen the sensation. And you can also stay in that same place, holding the stretch. Or you're welcome to move forward and back. Keep your lower abs engaged, whichever pose you do. Good, rise up to the palms, inhale. Right leg back, and then exhale, right knee, right tricep. Doesn't have to touch, inhale. Exhale, tricep. Good, inhale, extend. And exhale, right tricep. Good, one last. And then from here, you can start to circle out your right knee. Doing big or small circles. This is starting to, to warm up your arms. Good. And then bring both knees down to the ground. When you're ready, walk the palms forward, tuck the toes, elevate the hips, downward dog. Pedal it up. Feel the openness now that you can find through the hamstring your chest. Yeah, nice work, Rick. Try to be weightless in your head. Your ears hang heavy. You can do the bend and straighten or just simply hold your down dog. All right, getting ready here. So from here, walk the hands even fo more forward. Find your plank pose. And then exhale, open up left arm, side plank. Bring yourself center. Roll onto the toes and then right arm high. So you're just gonna work through this inhale forward. And the left arm. You can always do this on your knees too. Forward. Then the right arm. One more each side. Left arm high, feeling those nice obliques work. Good, center, and then right. Good, center, and then release the knees. Sit it back, puppy or child's pose. Inhale, right. Exhale, hop your feet to the middle of your space. Take your blocks with you, inhale, halfway lift. If you only have one, it's fine. And then exhale to your ragdoll pose with your blocks. You can place your hands on the blocks. You can do anything really as you allow your chest to melt towards your thighs. You can see if you can lean some way into your toes here. Really feeling that maximum release in the low back, the hamstrings. Nice. Sometimes the blocks are are fun to incorporate so you can elevate the ground. Take a few more breaths. Again, breathing into the belly. Shake your head yes and no a few times. All right, good. From here, it, even if you don't have a block, you can do this. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins. On the exhale, bend your knees and get really low to the ground. It's, it's not like a frog pose, because frog pose your feet are wide, just parallel, and then straighten the legs. Good, inhale, get low into a squat, and then exhale, straighten the legs. A few more times here. And then remember, you can always keep a bend in the knees, straighten. Last one, inhale, get low, and then exhale. Good. So move one block away and then bring your one block to the center at the highest height. 
put both hands around it, balance using your core, move your left foot to the center and then inhale your right leg up. Just notice what it's like to balance really quick for a moment. And then exhale, right foot comes down, move the right foot to the center, inhale the left foot up. And then most of your core is activated here, arms are just there for support. And then very slowly let it go. Hip blocks off to the side, inhale halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, uncurl yourself to rise. Stand up straight, arms overhead. And reach the arms up. Good. Parallel your feet, point your toes forward if they're not already. Take a hold of your left hand with your, your left wrist with your right hand. Take a side bend. Big breaths. Try to lift up through the right side ribs. Nice shot. Inhale, center. And then left hand holds on to the right wrist. Side bend left. Good. Big, strong connection here to the floor with your feet. Strong glutes, strong thighs. Inhale, center. And then exhale, feet apart, back bend. Go close your arms. And just allow your, your chest to open up. Breathe here. Keep gazing high to the sky. And then inhale, up center. Reach the arms high. Exhale, fold. This time, there's no blocks. Just let yourself hang heavy here. Then find a sway side to side. So you find an even more hamstring lengthening as we'll need for the rest of the class. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise up, stand, keep the feet apart. Keep the hands interlaced now. Take a side bend to the right. Elongate through that left side body. Inhale, center, and then up and over to the left. Inhale, center. This time, back bend. Go close the arms or support the low back this time. You can find a bit more range of motion if you support your low back. Elbows draw away from the front towards each other in the back. And then inhale, rise. Exhale, sit down, chair. And once you're in chair here, Please just sit further into your heels. So really lifting through the heart space. There we go. And then try to lower through the glutes a bit more. Gaze forward. And feel any, any of that work through the quads or your inner thighs, your glutes. And then inhale, rise up, stand. And exhale, hands to hips. Walk your right foot to the center. Then when you're ready, extend your left leg back, starting with our first warrior three of the day. So if you can kind of play with your balance here, imagine if your hands were on your blocks. Ribs lift from the ground, right big toe presses down, and then rise up to standing, both arms high. And exhale, hands to your hips. Balancing on the left now, reach your chest forward, lift your right leg back. And don't worry about it being perfectly squared right now. Just feel how your body's moving through space. Alrighty, nice, good work. Feet together, inhale up, and then exhale forward fold. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale plank. Make sure your fingers are pointed out for this one. A little bit out. Good, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. Try not to force your low back. And then exhale, downward dog. Stay here for about five breaths. And keep lifting through the sitting bones. Perhaps working your legs straight now. And then when you're ready, inhale, right leg goes high. Exhale, step forward. Walk your left toes closer and then place your blocks on either side of your right foot. If you only have one, 
you don't need to use a block here. All right, from here, full inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, straighten your right leg. And then inhale, walk the block to the highest setting. Get low into the ground with your left knee. There we go. And then exhale, straighten the legs. You can keep that left leg, left heel lifted. So working through this inhale bend. The knee, the left knee hovers. It doesn't need to touch here. Exhale, straighten. Strengthening the legs here. Inhale one more time. Lift the chest. Exhale, lengthen. This time drop your left heel, finding your deepest pyramid pose. So working our hamstrings here for a moment. Keep framing your right leg here with the block. And in this next few breaths, please point your right toes to the sky, flexing, flexing that right foot. Stay with it, keep breathing. Plant your right foot down, transfer the weight into the right leg, walk the blocks forward for your supportive warrior three. Notice how different it feels here with the blocks. Nice. Good, bend the right knee slightly. On the exhale, left knee, left tricep. Stay where you are. Inhale, leg back. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Good, inhale back. Exhale, left knee, left, left tricep, hold. Good, At leg, left, leg back. Exhale, left heel down, warrior one drive, no, no flux, hands up. You can just feel the depth there through your right thigh, arms up overhead, maybe connect your hands, finding your warrior one stance, really powerful pose. Maybe inch your right foot forward so you can find a bit more depth. Nice, feel it out, feel out the hips, feel out your joints. And try not to hyperlock that back knee. Slight bend with that left knee. All right, when you're ready, spread your right toes, take your hands to your low back, and inhale, gaze up. Inhale, not his back bend here. Little sips of air. Stay strong in the glutes. Open chest, shoulders back, elbows back and inhale, upright yourself, and then exhale, forward fold. All right, then lower the left knee, take the blocks with you, find your half splits. Okay, so use the blocks so that you can elevate your chest. Prioritize that, and then prioritize straightening up through the right leg. So if your spine is long, your right leg is straight, you really get in the maximum benefits of your hamstring stretch here. breathe. Then from here, switch into the left knee. Inhale the right leg back for your modified side plank. Reach the left arm high. And then from here, or right leg, sorry. Sorry, no. Reach your right arm high. My body's doing it. My brain's somewhere else. Okay. Then from here, you can do a few things. You can circle the right arm. You can take a hold of the right foot. You can go into your side plank, anything that feels good. And then exhale, plant the palms, plant the right knee. Move the blocks away, you'll need it later. Find your chaturanga, you can go down from the knees or from the toes. Inhale to your up dog or cobra. And then exhale, downward, face, downward facing dog. Five breaths. And perhaps noticing, see if you have a bit more space through that right hamstring. Keep pressing your chest to your thighs for another two breaths. Lengthen your arms away from the floor, from your palms. Then from here, inhale the left leg. 
So step forward. And then from here, so you bring both blocks to the front. If you only have one block, you don't have to do any with blocks, all right? Then from here, stay lifted with the chest. Full inhale. And exhale, straighten through that left leg. When you're ready, move your blocks to the highest setting, to the front. Then bend into your right knee while you lift your chest forward and exhale straighten. So just moving through this hip opening slash chest expansion. Your right knee hovers from the ground. It does not touch. You're working your left hamstring, your left quad, your left glute with every breath. Just a few more breaths, lift through the chest and you straighten out those arms. And then this last one, when you arrive, exhale, drop your right heel. You might need, you might want to scoot the blocks closer to you, finding the pyramid pose. Then if you want, you can also begin to flex your left toes to the sky. So really using the blocks here to lengthen through the spine, even out your hips, point your left middle toe to the sky as well. Good, relax the shoulder from the ears. And then when you're ready, plant the left foot Lift up onto the right tippy toes, walk your block forward, and find your supported warrior three. And then just notice what it's like to have the blocks there. And imagine plugging your right thigh into your socket, your hip socket, really hugging in, using that entire core connection. Okay, some of you might need to scoot your left toes back a bit. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Alrighty, when you're ready, full inhale. And then exhale, right knee, right tricep. I need to bend the left knee as well. Inhale, right leg back. And then exhale, right knee, right tricep. Good, inhale back. Right knee, right tricep. Nice. Good, inhale back. One last time, hold. Right knee, right tricep. And then inhale, straight back. Right toes land, rise up, no hands, no blocks. I mean, no blocks, warrior one. You widen through your feet. That right heel will scoot back far away and to the right, and then heel start to invite your depth through that left leg. Hands together or gaze high, <laughs> find your balance. Shifting the gaze really does transform the pose. Keep widening through the feet if you need more space. Make sure that right heel is down. And then take the hands to your low back lumbar spine. Fingertips point down, full inhale. And then find your back bend here. Really imagine opening up through the sternum. Yes, keep breathing. So balanced, so relaxed there through that left foot. On the inhale, rise. On the exhale, hands to the blocks. And then lower through the right knee. Find your half splits now. And so still refining, still lengthening through the spine. Focus on pressing down through that left heel and then flexing through the left toes while you engage through the left quad. Once you're there, elongate through the torso and the spine, peeling the chest away from the ground. So finding that really nice 45 degree angle in the chest. When you're ready, full inhale. Let go on the exhale. And then right hand stays down on the block or the floor. Open up to your modified side plank. Feel your balance. 
and then you, got, you have a few different options. You can circle through the arm, you can hold on to your foot, going in for that quad stretch, so just make this your own here. Good, very slowly, right knee comes, left knee comes down, move your blocks away to the sides, find your chaturanga, whether that's on the knees or the toes. Inhale to your up dog or cobra, and exhale down dog. Nice. All right, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, hop to the middle. Take one block, or two if you have it, place them into the center of your mat. All right, if you only have one, you can still step on it, place it sideways, all right, step on the block. Halfway lift right away. Nice, Melissa, good. Halfway lift, exhale, fold. Rise up, stand. So you're a few inches taller now. All right, then interlace the hands, take a side bend to the right. Inhale, center, side bend left. Inhale, center, open twist to the right. Inhale, left, open twist to the left. Good, inhale, center. Keep the arms overhead, interlace. Gaze up, find any amount of a back bend here without opening up through the elbows. Just keep lifting your ribs away from your hips. All right, bend knees, exhale, fold. With your block underneath you. All right, so now notice what kind of hamstring stretch you are able to receive while you're on the block. You can bend your knees. You can hold on to the back edge of your block here. Nice. Good. Be good. Feels much higher because we're here. You can either bend your knees a lot more or any other variations. All right. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise up to chair in this standing on the blocks. If you only have one block, you can still do it. Make sure you balance more on the heels. Elevate those arms, point the gaze forward. You're doing good, stay a bit low into your glutes. And then very slowly plant the palms, hop off the back. All right, then place your knees onto one or two blocks like this. Balance so your knees are just above and your shins are resting onto the block. Yeah, there you go. And then lift your spine. Have your shoulders over your hips. Hands to your thighs and then close your eyes here. Just receiving the stretch there through the backs of the feet. And then very slowly Stand up and then place one block back here. All right, move one block to the side so you don't you only need one block. Place right foot forward, hands to the ground, and step on your left left toes like this. Okay, so you're almost like in a really short warrior one. You good? Nice. All right. Okay, so from here, plant the palms. So hopefully what you can do, if you can't reach the ground, bend both knees. Yeah, good. Walk your hands even closer to your body, just underneath the shoulders. See there? All right, now on the exhale, lift your right leg up into standing splits, okay? And then other option. So that's option one, you're here. Maybe you'll start to use the block. Whoa, that was cool. Use the block as leverage. The other option. You take your right block, okay, you're here, you're here, and then you lift your left arm back. So you're in like a warrior three with one arm support. Okay, so let me show you the other one again. Plant the palms. This is a nice little handstand assist when there's no one there to help you. All right, here we go. Lift, lift the right leg. Then use your left toes, begin to reach and Hover, whoa, see, 
if you find that tiny, tiny bit of leverage, nice Josh, I see you. There's a bit of a, try not to kick too hard, but just try to lift, 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 lift through the core. The other option, I'll show it again, it's this. So good. So it's warrior three in the lower body, supported warrior three in the right hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good. You guys look good. And then we'll let that rest. So I would see you on the block for now. Reach the arms up overhead. Hands behind you, look up, elbows a little bit up, and exhale, crow pose to just flush it out. Frog pose is there too. Flying frog too. And then let it go. Okay, now let's move the block to the right side. If you did the, the supported thing, block to the left, but first let's go in stages. So step your right foot over the block. Step your left foot somewhere in front, like this. Bend both of your knees like you're about to be a, a runner, like those runners that launch in this position. <laughs> Plant your palms down. All right, good. Move the hands closer to your body even more. So, th okay, that's the trick. You have to move your hands really close to your left foot. Okay, then lift the left leg up. Okay, then eventually you'll start to lean, lean, lean. Whoa, <laughs> then you'll have enough core strength. You can even hop here if you want, but just be careful. Use it as kind of a support. You want to traction your left thigh. The other one, supported, warrior three, so left foot. Okay, left leg up, and the right arm back. So this is a lot of moving pieces because it really works your core, your spine, and your hamstrings, okay? So if you're trying the handstand, let me just check it out. Good. You guys look good. Nice, Melissa. Keep working. I know it's so interesting with the block because it really changes your your feeling in the feet. That's nice. All right, let it go. Sit down onto the right block. Take a moment and then plant your hands, either frog or crow or flying. And then let it go. All right, no block. Sit down. Extend the legs. Hopefully, hamstrings are really open. And then elbows down to the ground. Fish pose. How are we feeling? Just keep breathing there. Support your head. Look up. Inhale, lift yourself up and then widen through the feet. S steady breath in and exhale, bow forward. Really stretching. Now, instead of the, the straight hamstrings, we're going in the V shape, getting a different part of the legs. few more breaths. Try Really try to compress your chest down if you can, as long as your low back likes that. Inhale, lift yourself up. And then exhale, hands behind you. Plant your feet. Okay, then left hand points out to the, to the back. Lift up into one half of your wheel pose. Really lift those hips and then sit down. Right hand, lift up into one arm wheel. Maybe supporting back, playing with your balance, and then tap a seat. All right, hands to heart, lift up, boat pose. lifting. Yeah, you good. You good. Keep her, keep breathing. Lift the chest and then feet together, knees out wide. All right, so now 
Please find a forward fold with your knees together. Oh, sorry, with your feet together. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today with body parts. All right, shift. We're just gonna keep exploring, keep playing for a bit. Okay, you're doing good. All right, inhale, lift your chest. Take another float pose. Knees can be bent here. Then we'll go for your half float. You can lower the legs. Just breathe. Yeah, nice. Lock in your core strength here. This is it. Four, you can do it. Three, two, and then sit up. Feet together, knees out wide. We're gonna do something in a little bit, but I just want you to have um, fun in the moment. All right, inhale, lift the knees. Third float pose, maybe straighten out the legs. Okay, then from here, plant your feet, rise up, stand. Arms up. Good, good, that was fine. Walk the feet apart and find your standing back bend. Okay, now take the blocks to the top. This is gonna be one of the options, option one, right? Hands to the blocks like this. You plant your feet in the middle, lift your left leg up, and then you'll go left knee left tricep, then it extend, and then exhale down, and then the right leg, okay, then for an either choices. So that's one. Other one, other fun. Okay, so I'm going to show you this way. A block is going to be on the back corner of your mat, left foot down, right, hands to the mat, and then what you'll do is, there's no right or wrong, this is just play time, lift one knee, and then eventually you will play with any amount of that. So just do like a half circle with your knees. Okay, so I'd like you to do your, this thing, knee to tricep, or start playing with the press, just for fun. There's no, there's no obligation. And then really, if you're here working on your oblique strength, you're gonna graduate after doing it a few times to bringing your hands behind you. Okay, that's really hard. Maybe in front, there we go. Back, knee to tricep, back and down. Try it. Yeah, that's better. Hands behind you is really hard, but hands forward is a little bit easier. So that way you're just going to be little movement ninjas and you're really going to be good at balancing and coursing. Nice Parker, that was it. Good Josh, good Melissa, keep going, keep going, one more. There, all right, let it go, feet down. Inhale, rise up. And then exhale, walk your feet wide. Go all the way down into a, like a frog pose, but you're not on the ground. Yeah, that, nice. Elbows can rest on the thighs. Rise up again. And then all the way down. So you can widen it as wide as you need, so you can get low like this. Yeah, good. Up. Exhale down. All the way down. One. And down. Good. Alrighty. Walk the feet together. Inhale. Lift, lift the arms high. Take a side bend to the left. Inhale. Side bend right. Inhale. Exhale. Chair pose. Arms back this time. Walk the feet wide. Interlace your hands behind you. Find your bend knees and your hands overhead in your bound forward fold. Nice, alrighty, sit down. Okay, so now one last play here. You're here in boat, lower to half, 
exhale in, lower half, exhale in. I got another one for you if you want to try. Okay, this is the same thing we did earlier, but it's a bit more higher. Like, if you have a stool, it would be more, like, you could play with it, alright? So, let me just show you this. Careful, because the block can tip over. So your goal here is not to tip over the block like that. You don't want to do that. So let's, don't even lift up, just try. Alright, so whichever one you're doing, you're here. Are you going to play with trying not to tip the block over? Okay, that's four, three, almost there, two, one. Peace fingers around your big toes, extend the legs or V out the legs. Okay, then everyone V and bend those knees. Again, it's more of trying to have control over your movements. Okay, listen from here. Let go of the feet, plant the palms, curl the toes. Eventually, we're all gonna be able to press up, right? <laughs> In a few years. <laughs> good, good, good. Breathe. And then slowly release. Nice work. Let it go. Sit down onto your block in between your ankles. That was nice. Good job. Going in for hero's pose. Hands, step, step one is hands. Keep your knees pointed forward and down onto the mat. Allow it to be a quad stretch, a hip flexor stretch. And then the other one is going to be, if you can, if you'd like, elbows. Just make sure your knees are really comfortable and secure. Only look forward, down at your belly button, or up at the ceiling. Nice, inhale, rise. Exhale, block forward, down dog. We're gonna do a few twists that we haven't done yet, just so, because we did a lot of hamstring work. Inhale the right leg high, open up, your hip now. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, right leg up. Right knee, left tricep. Hold and then twist. Leg goes through, falling star. We did this earlier in side plank and in our modified wheel pose and then here. Left hand. Inhale, right leg. Feel free to flip. Exhale, down dog. Other side, left leg up. Move your nose. Inhale, left leg. Knee to left tricep. Good. Inhale up. Knee to right tricep. Inhale up. And then send the leg through to the right. Falling star. Lift those hips high. Right hand down. Circle it, leg up. Feel free to flip. Right hand now. Nice. Great work. Then very slowly bring it down. Lower down to your knees. Sit down onto your heels. Now stretch out the wrists. Did lots of wrist work. And then left hand down to the mat. Take a side bend, right arm up and over. Right hand down, side bend. Good, inhale up. See the twist left. Nice, inhale up. And see the twist right. Good, inhale center, plant the palms. We're gonna go for our pigeon pose. Right leg extends up and back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, and then swing it all the way forward. If you have a long shin bone, you need to assist yourself getting there is fine. Okay, take your block, hands around it like this, and then your forehead can come down. Keep 
flexing your right foot if you can. Listen carefully. Slowly bring your right heel closer to your groin. Transfer your weight into your right hip. Rise up and then extend your leg forward like an open split. Yeah, lean on your right hip just for fun. Good. Yeah. And then see if you can work this right leg any amount straight. <laughs> it's okay. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. Make sure you feel good. But then if you want to try, then you'll go center. So you'll get off that glute. <laughs> good. All right, release. Feet together, center, then tabletop. Don't worry, we have another side to try that. <laughs> Inhale the left leg. Exhale, left knee, left rise up. And then bring it all the way down. Block in between your hands, floor goes in. Good work, keep breathing. Belly breath. Onto the hands, slide your left heel towards your glute, then roll onto your left glute area. And if you want, you can extend the left leg any amount so you're like this. Yeah, keep the left knee bent any amount. This might just make sure you're not working through pain. And if you want to eventually come to the center, like a half splits, either way, keep breathing. And then slowly you'll bring it in, and your right knee comes in, and you lay all the way down onto your back. Take the block with you. Quick supported bridge with the block. Place your block mid length, mid height, mid height, and then place your block underneath your sacrum, and just let it go. Arms by the sides. And if you want to try, you can lift the legs. That feels good. Take a few more moments, getting comfortable, getting cozy. slowly your feet will come down okay then inhale lift the hips slide your seat down slowly feet together knees out take the block on either side for your supta baddha konasana and if you only have one block you can just let it be without the block hands into heart right hand to belly or elbows above hands outside of your knees, hug your knees in. If your knee needs a big hug, you're going to take your blocks underneath your shins or your knees, just like this. And take your shavasana here. Get ready. Let your, your body be fully supported by the blocks in the ground. Shavasana with your hands, one hand to heart, one hand to belly. If you're in Shavasana, with one hand to your belly. Every time you inhale, please inflate your bottom hand.
relax your head, relax your jaw. Relax your face. If you had one thing tomorrow morning, you probably would go inside here for the next minute. And then slowly relax your face. And welcome to rest your body as you'd like. Chest, slide the blocks away. Rock and roll, massage your low back. Maybe you sit down onto your your block. One of them. Sit up tall. Take your neck rolls here, chin to chest. arm side. No rush. Exhale, hands to heart. We bow for it's inner practice. Just on my part to you. Namaste. Thank you guys for being here. I hope that was a bit of playful fun to break up your Wednesday. Let me know any thoughts or feedback.